Hi, this is Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches, and today I'd like to give you a few tips about painting on glass. One of the first things that you'll need for your tools and painting is paint. When I was starting to paint wine glasses with my friend Heidi, our first big mistake that we did that first night was we had acrylic paint. And a lot of people um, will go off to Walmart and buy paint, like I did, and buy acrylic. And unfortunately, acrylic paint is not for painting on glass you will need to purchase a enamel paint. Here is a brand, Gloss Enamel. You can get this at privately owned art stores. You can get this at Hobby Lobby. And I believe you can now also get this at Walmart. There are some other brands that you can look for. Folk Art, Apple Barrel, and then like I was holding up before, Martha Stewart has a line of enamel paints that you can get at Hobby Lobby. You can also get a variety of different paints at local art stores. They tend to be a little bit more expensive and um, sometimes smaller bottles, but it's up to you to find the paints that you want. Typically, I have two or three different kinds because sometimes you'll like the consistency and the coloration of different brands, and it's nice to have a little variety. So that is your per first supply, enamel paint. The second supply that you'll need are paint brushes. Again, this is something that you will have to think about the financial investment. You can get paintbrushes at Walmart. They'll have a variety pack oftentimes in their craft section of $5. And I think Hobby Lobby does too. And you will get about 10, 20, maybe 30 paintbrushes in there. Um, and these can be nice for painting. You can also buy paintbrushes individually. These two I bought at our local paint store in Sturgeon Bay. They were about $5 each. They have lasted a little longer and um, they're very nice. And so um, you can get those at art stores, individually priced paint brushes. You can get them also at Hobby Lobby. Sometimes they can be as much as $20 a brush. Another thing that I have in regards to paint brushes is for my birthday, I got this set of paint brushes. They have everything in them, um, you know, nice, fan shaped brushes, thick brushes, thin brushes, pointy brushes, all kinds. And this was about $25 for a full set of brushes. Um, there's a few other ways that you can apply your paint to your glass that aren't necessarily paint brushes. You can use the end of your paintbrush to make dots or eyes for whatever you're painting. You can also use toothpicks for fine lining or striping in certain things that you're painting. A lot of times we use sponges, cotton balls, Q-tips, and even makeup brushes. So that is the second tool you'll need, some sort of way to apply the paint to your glass. A couple other things that you can pick up, you know, at your local Walmart that you'll need is a palette. You can go to the art store and get a real paint palette, or you can get, like I have, a nice plastic plate. The thing I like about the plastic plate versus a paper plate is that if I have plenty of room to do mixing of my colors here, also if I have to quick run and get the kids from school and I don't have time to you know, use up all the paint on here, I can cover it with plastic wrap and use it later. I also like to have some sort of towel with me, either a paper towel or um, an old rag or a dishcloth that I can use to wipe off my brush or as you'll see when you're painting on glass, if you make a mistake, you can take your paper towel and wipe it off and start all over again. So having some sort of towel. The other thing that I have, um, and this is my special secret that I'm going to be sharing with you folks today, is I need to have tape and then some sort of picture decal. Um, I generally trace these or pre-draw these on little bits of paper and I take some scotch tape and I will paint tape my picture to the inside of my glass and the reason that I do this is because one obviously it's glass and you can see right through it and then you can paint on the glass like coloring it in the reason I don't use stencils is because I find with the curved nature of the glass it's very hard to get the stencil to lay flat and a lot of times my paint would kind of get kind of sloppy and get underneath it. Whereas I find that when I tape it in, I hold my hand right here where the, the picture is, 
And then I'm able to paint right onto the glass using this as my inspiration for what I'm working on. So that is my special tip that I'm sharing with you guys. I'll show you real quick something that I painted using that method. And that would be this set of grapes. I taped a picture that I traced and drew off the internet and I taped it right onto the inside. Um, another tip, and probably my final one for this video, it's very important when you're painting on glass to layer your work and let it dry. Glass is very slippery, and if you keep adding more layers while you're painting and it's wet, it's gonna smear around and smudge. So it's very important. For this glass, when I painted this on, I did a light layer of purple, I let it dry, I did a darker layer of purple, to kind of give some depth to the grapes. And then I outlined it. And before I did each of those steps, I let it dry. Even if you can see in that leaf has different colors, you need to let them dry before you put your next layer on. If you feel like possibly putting those stencils on the inside of the glass is something a little bit more advanced than what you want to try right away, you can do something simple like a cheetah print or a polka dot pattern. And in here you can see I painted some purple blobs or splotches and then I let them dry and then I, I painted a black around it and that kind of gave it the cheetah look. And then that was done drying, I painted the stem purple. So that's a nice fun glass that you can do, but again, you've got to let it dry between each layers. And then the final one that I'm going to show you is probably, probably the easiest level for painting and it's this. I'm so sorry, this is like the only glass that I have left that I did this to. So this is a giant one. This is something for like a bridal shower or a ladies night. This will fit a whole bottle of wine in it. See how big it is. But the whole point on this one is I painted the whole bottle or the whole glass with one color, pink. And I like to think of it as like, it looks like a dress, like a, a sweetheart style neckline. And then I let it dry and then I did another layer with nice broad strokes with a nice big fat brush. That's what you would use this one for. And then when it was done, I bought a Martha Stewart pearlizer, which kind of like, it's like a shiny paint that you can put on top of it. Again, it needs to be enamel and I painted on top of it. And to give it that little extra bling, if you will, that I like to, um, Say makes it look like an, you know, a neckline on a dress is I super glued little gemstones that I, again, I bought in a multi-pack at Walmart. I put some up here by the neckline and some down here on the, the stem. See how pretty that is? And so this is a very beautiful glass, I think, and it was minimal artistic skill, just painting a nice solid base coat, giving it a little pearl, and then super gluing the gemstones. And the really nice thing about this is that this super glue typically does not come off once it's on there. You have to be gentle with it. I mean, you can't be throwing it in the dishwasher or setting it in the sink to soak for a couple hours. But if you just rinse it off with a soapy sponge, rinse it off, hand dry it with a nice little towel, this beautiful, um, simply painted um, wine glass is something very nice. Look at this, you guys. It's like almost as big as my head. The final step that you need to keep in mind in regards to painting on glass, is that you need to follow the instructions on the back of the bottle. This is the most important part because you can just paint on your wine glass and if you go to rinse it off after drinking out of it, very most likely your work will wash off, especially if you're using acrylic paint. So when you buy the glass enamel, gloss enamel, or any type of enamel paint, on the back, it's gonna give you some instructions on how to set your paint. A lot of times it involves setting them out for a certain number of days. And then it also involves baking them in your oven. And it will tell you how long you need to cook it for. Um, it will tell you the temperature that you need. And um, I do have one or two more tips in regards to that. So if you have gone and mixed your folk art and Americana, both of them, believe it or not, are gonna have different directions on how they want you to 
set it. This one says 350 for 30 degree, 30 minutes. This says 325. This one says it needs to set for 21 days. This one says four days. So I like to play it safe and I like to kind of do a combination of which I let it sit out for four or five days. And then I bake them in the oven. I take out the oven racks and I just leave the other one on the bottom and I set them on a cookie sheet in the oven, a cold oven. I get it up to the temperature in which it needs to bake at and then I start my timer. And so that is what you'll need to do in order to set the paint on the glass so that when you're done drinking at it, you will not wash your artwork off. Um, soon I hope to be doing a video for you folks about painting on a liquor bottle. So instead of just painting wine glasses or candle votives or vases, you can also paint on wine bottles or liquor bottles. And I have a project coming up for my brother that I'm gonna paint him a Packer bottle. And I'd like to give you a few tips on painting for decorative uses, not just painting on wine glasses. So I hope you really liked that video. Please like this video, share the video and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy painting and having, you know, craft nights. If you have any questions or anything you'd like me to clarify about painting or that I didn't even mention, please put it in the comments and I can incorporate it in my next video when I'm showing you a painted liquor bottle. So thanks again, happy crafting.